There's uh, such a cute story. It's supposedly when you met that you, uh, you kissed so much that his lips bled. I think that's an exaggeration. It's a nice one, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the height of her Charlie's Angels fame, Farrah was introduced to Ryan in 1979, ironically, by her then husband of six years, six million dollar man Lee Majors. The actor asked O'Neill to check in on his wife while he was away filming and their connection was undeniable. To the surprise of many, they never married, which was the subject of much speculation, especially when Farrah became pregnant with their son Redmond in 1984. Are you gonna marry Ryan O'Neill? I don't know. Farrah and Ryan worked together twice, first in 1989's Small Sacrifices, then in the short-lived 1991 series Good Sports. Whew, you didn't have to get dolled up for me. Their tumultuous relationship was at the top of tabloid headlines, including an infamous 1997 cheating incident when Farrah walked in on Ryan and another actress, which he later admitted to, in a 2013 court deposition. They broke up soon after, but always seemed to find their way back to each other. All that other stuff is behind you. You guys are able to move the on. Wars, the yeah, wars? Yeah, the wars the roses. between you and Farrah. Sure. What, I'm so tired. Uh -huh. I haven't got a fight in me. They reconnected after Ryan's diagnosis with leukemia in 2001. In 2003, Ryan told us he was working on a reconciliation with Farrah after this photo of them at an Oscar party emerged. Are, are we rekindling the relationship? Well, I'm working on it. You, <laughs> are you it's really? It's a struggle, yeah. Uh huh. Sure, why not? She's a dog. Has she been there? for you yes. throughout your... Always. She was uh -huh. always there. We saw the rekindled romance play out on her reality show, Chasing Farrah. jeez. <laughs> Have you put on weight? Stop it! And when Farrah was diagnosed with anal cancer in 2006, Ryan played the role of caretaker, as we saw in her documentary, Farrah's Story. I don't uh, let her see how I really feel, because I feel awful. You said that um, you never loved her more than now in your life. Feeling. Showed a side of herself I had uh, never seen in any human being before. During Farrah's final days, Ryan proposed marriage, but sadly, as Ryan explained in his 2012 book, the priest at St. John's Hospital arrives to marry us, but administers the last rites instead. In 2012, three years after Farrah's death, Ryan announced he had prostate cancer, and losing the love of his life changed his views on mortality. Do you view death differently because of Farrah? Yes, I do, kid, I do. How? It's not so scary. Ryan, do you feel like Farrah's waiting for you when it is your time? I hope she is. I do. Makes it easier.